All right, it is October 18th, well, October 18th. And it wasn't easy getting out the door this morning to run because temperatures are in the 20s. Got down to 21 degrees last night. I'm in a spot where it's not very windy, so I guess I should uh, take advantage here and talk to the camera. <laughs> I didn't really have anything planned to say, but here we are, here we go. Cold but sunny, can't complain too much. I have seen one other runner out this morning, so I'm not the only crazy person. Right now I'm running through what's called the Market District. Looks like it used to be mostly industrial, but they're trying to incorporate some living spaces and some businesses. There's a few breweries, a couple restaurants, a couple good looking apartment complexes back there. My running tights and my shorts are kind of slipping down today, which probably means I've lost some weight during this run streak. I believe we're on day 15 of the run streak at this point. And uh, I haven't actually weighed myself since I started it. I know what I weighed when I first started is 153 pounds. Not sure what I am now. I definitely feel leaner though. So we just hit 2.5 miles on the run and probably got a little bit over half a mile to get back home. So it's gonna end up being just another 5K today. Nothing hard, pretty easy pace. So what do I prefer? Running in the heat, the extreme heat, or the extreme cold? And I'll take the cold every time, hands down. Heat and I do not do well together, which is why I didn't run that much this summer. Definitely more of a fall runner, even winter. Of course, I'm used to having dry winters in Idaho. Cold but dry. It's gonna be the opposite here. It's gonna be cold and wet and snowy. One thing I've noticed about the, uh, the automatic wind filter with the GoPro, if it's really windy and I'm talking, it makes my voice like do an echo type of thing. I don't know if anybody's noticed that in my video. The one from yesterday, the uh, October 17th video especially, you can hear it. It just sounds weird and, and creepy, but it's just an effect of the wind filter, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we just hit mile three of the run. We're almost home, it's just right over there. It's gonna end up being 5K by the time we're over there. But uh, yeah, runs good. My legs feel great. I feel like I can actually run a lot further today, but I'm saving them because the weather's about to get a little bit warmer here over the next couple days. So if I wanna do a longer run, I'd rather do it in like the 50, 60 degree weather versus the uh, 20s. <laughs> so either way, because I'm wearing such thick layers right now, I'm really sweaty and and gross to be honest. So I'm looking forward to a hot shower at home and, and a hot cup of coffee to be honest. Well, it looks like they finally turned the fountain off. I figure it had to happen eventually with the temperature's dropping into the low 20s. I still think that the big fountain across the street from our apartment may have been on up until maybe last night. I'm sure they had to have turned it off. I haven't looked yet though. Either way, what you're looking at here, this is the World Food Prize building. 
if you remember the video from yesterday, I was at the state capitol and they had the big banners for the World Food Prize up on the capitol building. So there must be some sort of event coming here. Maybe they're giving away the World Food Prize. <laughs> Don't know what that entails. Don't know how you go about getting that prize. It's a nice building though. And it's a nice little parky area. People come here a lot to take pictures and stuff. This is the Janice and John Ron the Third Garden. And they always do a great job of keeping the grounds pristine. I mean, look at these flowers. You got the statues, more flowers in the pots over there. The grounds are always kept up really well and they replace the flowers throughout the year with different ones. Like they just put these ones in about, I wanna say a week, a week and a half ago. Okay, so we're done with our run. It ended up being 3.5 miles. Maybe, I think it was like 3.46 or something like that, but I'm rounding up to 3.5 because why not? Cold, but not that cold. It wasn't really that bad. It wasn't really any worse than yesterday, to be honest. So I was thinking about what I wanted to do for dinner. I'm not real sure. Yesterday was a little bit of an experiment with the breaded tofu. I've never actually breaded that stuff before. So it was technically a success. It was Inga approved as well. So. Um, not gonna do that again, but I may do tofu with this Hawaiian style curry sauce mix. I was thinking about using this. We got this up at the local Asian grocery market right up the street. Sounds really good. It sounds like it'd be good with tofu and vegetables. So maybe give this a shot tonight, I'm not sure. All right, so here's breakfast this morning. We got some bananas chopped up, grapes, and an apple. And then to go with that, we got some peanut butter, some creamy peanut butter to dip all this stuff in. Should be good. All right, so we're gonna be whipping up some seitan in the Instant Pot today. We're gonna start over here on this side with the ingredients. This is one and one third cup of Vital Wheat Gluten Flour. I'm using the Bob's Red Mill brand, which is pretty widely available. Now down here we have, this is one quarter cup of tofu, and I've ran it through the food processor just to get it into as small uh, pieces as I can, basically. Here we have one quarter cup of nutritional yeast, or nooch as they like to call it nowadays then we have two teaspoons of italian seasoning okay so here we got one teaspoon of chili powder and one teaspoon of paprika here we have half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper right here we have half a teaspoon of onion powder and half a teaspoon of ground cumin then we have one teaspoon of umami and a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Now to go along with that, when we combine all the ingredients, we have one and one quarter cup of vegetable broth. We're gonna combine all these ingredients in this bowl over here. Okay, so now we're gonna combine the dough just with our hands here before we take it out. So here's a close up of what our dough looks like. And we're gonna knead it for about one minute now. All right, so now that we've kneaded the dough, we're gonna let it rest for about five minutes here. Okay, so let's take a look at all the ingredients we're gonna use for the broth. To start, we have this little guy here, which is four cloves of minced garlic. Over here, we have one half of a small onion sliced. In the middle, we have three tablespoons of soy sauce. Off to the side, we have one tablespoon of molasses. 
and one teaspoon of goju jang that I've just combined into one cup there. And for the liquid, the recipe that I was sort of following called for just straight water, two cups of straight water, but I went half and half. So I got half a cup of water in there and then one half a cup of vegetable stock. And all these ingredients, we're just gonna go ahead and put into our Instant Pot. Again, we still have a couple minutes while the dough is resting, so we're just gonna combine all of these. Okay, so now we're gonna knead this a little bit more. We want it to get pretty stiff, uh, so we're gonna knead it about 10 times or so. Now this little ball of dough here is gonna rest for about 15 minutes. Okay, so we've waited our 15 minutes. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut the dough in half. This is gonna make two loaves, basically. So it's looking good so far. They already got a pretty good shape. I'm just gonna roll them a little bit smaller here. Okay, so now we're gonna transfer our two loaves into the Instant Pot here. Just gonna put them right in the broth. Now we're gonna cook this on high for 20 minutes and let it naturally release. Okay, so here's our seitan all done here. Just gonna zoom in. And as you can see, it's firm to the touch at this point. Both pieces look good. But we gotta let it cool down before we can transfer it into a container and put it in the fridge. Okay, so now we're gonna very carefully transfer the seitan from the instant pot into this uh, container and then we're going to store them in the fridge. We're going to pour in all of the uh, broth that's left. Okay, and this should be ready to go tomorrow. We're not going to eat it tonight. All right, well that's gonna do it for Vlogtober 18th. I'll uh, show you guys what the seitan looks like in tomorrow's video. I'll be slicing it up and making some sandwiches out of it. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna call the video, I'm gonna end it. Thank you everybody for watching. Hit the like button if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this. Hit the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed to my channel and you wanna support this channel. Hit the notification bell if you wanna be notified whenever I drop a new video. Until tomorrow, everybody. Take care.